Hello and welcome to our channel guys and what an incredible dramatic and controversial game of football after 5 disallowed goals between Chelsea and Tottenham Hotspur and Chelsea have ended Tottenham's 11 game Premier League unbeaten run and Tottenham are down to the second position in the Premier League Tottenham's first half against Chelsea produced arguably the wildest and craziest 45 minutes in the Premier League history Christian Romero escaped a sending off for kicking out at Levy Colville before seeing red for a tackle on Enzo Fernandez while there were injuries to James Madison and Mickey Van de Ven in an action packed first half that included 6 goals four of which were ruled out Before starting the match review we take a look at the starting lineups Tottenham Hotspur played this game with a 4-2-3-1 formation in which Vicario started this game at goal Pedro Porro at the right back, Christian Romero and Van de Ven were the two center backs and Yudogi started at the left back. Sar and Bissouma were the two defensive midfielders and James Madison started this game alongside Brennan Johnson and Kulusevski while Hugh Minson started as a center forward. On the other side, Chelsea also started this game with a 4-2-3-1 formation in which Robert Sanchez at the goal, Reece James at the right back Axel de Sassi and Thiago Silva were the two center backs and Colville started this game at left back. Moises Caicedo and Enzo Fernandez were the two defensive midfielders. Conor Gallagher started this game as a central attacking midfielder alongside Cole Palmer and Raheem Sterling and Nicolas Jackson started this game as a center forward. We are now heading to the match review. Spurs started perfectly as Zeyan Kulusevski cut in from the right side and saw his deflected effort find the back of the net in the 6th minute. In the 13th minute, another sweeping move from Spurs carved Chelsea open with a series of perfectly weighted passes. Bissouma found Johnson out wide and he fired in an early cross to pick out Son in the middle. The forward took it first time, perhaps catching Sanchez out. and the shot flew past the chelsea goalkeeper and in it was a brilliant attack but the flag went up for offside though there was a var check and it was disallowed in the 21st minute raheem sterling picks up the ball and carries it into the spurs box and receives a big slice of luck as his shot is blocked back into his path he brings it down again before finishing make it a 1-1 though there is a var review as it seems to hit his arm and after the war check was over the goal was disallowed in the 27th minute caicedo leveled with a stunner and his shot was superb as it flew past vicario and into the back of the net however the flag went up for offside and there was a var check to ascertain whether jackson was offside and blocking vicario's view and later on the goal was ruled offside In the 29th minute the VAR ruled that Jackson was indeed offside and blocking Vicario's view however there was yet another VAR check to see whether a Romero challenge in the build up to the disallowed goal was worthy of a penalty and even a red card the replay showed that Romero's challenge on Fernandez in the penalty area was a poor one catching the Chelsea man high on the leg with his follow through and after a long long VAR check The on-field referee Michael Oliver decided that Romero's challenge was not only enough to award a penalty but also saw the defender given his marching orders with a straight red card. And in the 35th minute, Cole Palmer made no mistake and converted the penalty easily. After all of that drama, it was a 1-1 at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. In the 55th minute, Chelsea broke and had a 3-on-2 situation. but a sterling pass to his right for palmer was weak and flicked away by yudoji the ball ran loose and as yudoji and sterling challenged for the ball the fullback sized down the chelsea man giving the referee no choice but to dig out the second yellow and then a red and after that sports went down to 9 men Finally Chelsea found a way through in the 75th minute as Rhys James caught out the high spur line with a neat through ball Sterling raced onto it took it into the host box before playing a perfectly weighted squared pass for Nicolas Jackson who made no mistake with the finish as he fired past Vicario to put the visitors ahead 
In the 94th minute, after Sun had gone close up the other hand, Chelsea came forward on the counter, and Gallagher received the ball on the right hand side. He slid a pass into the middle for Jackson, and he fired to make it 3-1, and surely killed the game off. Nicolas Jackson didn't just stop there; he scored another goal and secured his hat trick in the 97th minute. Spurs continued to persist with their high line, and Chelsea caught them out again. Nicolas Jackson took it deep into the host box, and while he thought about playing it to his left for Modric, he ended up taking it around the goalkeeper and scored a beautiful goal and make it 4-1. So guys that's all for today share all your thoughts on the controversies of this game in the comment section i hope you guys like it and subscribe my channel thank you